In this video, I present to you the top 5 apps that I tried and tested during the month of April. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you're old here. Thanks so much for coming back again. So starting off with the apps, I have this app called Diary. Diary is basically a diary that you can use to take notes at any meetings or at any point in time of your life. So it's very simple to use. If you want to use it, all that you need to do is you click on the plus sign over here to add a particular note to this one. This basically sets the date for you so you don't need to input the date and then the particular time that you took this particular note also. Aside that, it gives you the options to select a folder, select tags, and then even the mood that you are in as you are taking this note. This is obviously the first time that I'm seeing something like this. And then when you come to the map section over here, it automatically sets or figure out where you took your notes. So you don't have to need to specify where you took these notes. Aside that, you can add a picture of reference to this particular note or basically where you were taking it so you go to your pictures and then you can add anything for example this particular picture over here so after writing the note you just select the picture and then you can include it over here now when you click on the edit section over here you can edit your note and you give it the title and that is it you are good to go after everything you can save it over here and then you are good to go so basically this is one that i created and i did not add an image to it but basically it is as simple as that at a section over here you can do a whole lot of it provides you with a date so today is 26 and then it provides you with all the folders that you've created for yourself if you click on the settings button over here you, you'll be open to a different settings account that you can set up the preferences other preferences you can work on the appearance the language and so many things over there and the most important thing of this all you can put a lock on this particular diary code so anyone picks your phone they might not be able to access your diary this app comes with a free version and then the pro version of 25 cities per month which is approximately less than six dollars or so so you can purchase this particular app for the pro version so some of the features of the pro version is an export to pdf and then a cloud synchronization and of course it comes with ads free for the pro version so if you want some simple diary app that you can use day to day time you can try diary pro moving on is this hd wallpapers i'm not sure i'm going to present these apps to you without a wallpaper because i'm so obsessed with all papers if you check my intro video you can see that the wallpaper was so late now the hd wallpaper is so simple it, it starts from the editor's picks so basically they provide you with some sort of wallpapers that you can select from if you swipe to the right you're going to be welcomed with the next wallpaper and to the left it takes you to the previous wallpapers you can go to the categorized section over here and pick your choice for instance the abstract, the animals, the astronomy, the autumn, the babies. So you just pick your choice. And then the random sections over here is also dope. You can check out from the random section. They have so many beautiful HD wallpapers, which comes very free. So you can just browse through them and then you select any of them. So assuming you pick one of them and then you want to use it for your wallpaper, you can first of all check it out if it fits your wallpaper first before you download it. To do that, you click on the gallery sign over here and then it loads the wallpaper for you. So you can try it out at your home screen and then you can see how best it is going to look on your home screen before you even apply it. So you can even apply it straight away from here without downloading it. But then if the wallpaper is so cool for you that you need to share with other friends, you can go ahead and then click on the download button right in the middle here and then you can download it to your galleries so looking for some awesome beautiful hd quality wallpapers for free i recommend you try this hd wallpaper link will be in the description moving on with number three is launcher 2019 i'm that type of person that likes 
simple things this particular launcher is so smooth you can use just one hand to operate it by swapping to the left it reveals all the apps that you're having on your phone and then if you go to the top over here you swipe to the down you're going to be welcome to your home screen it is as simple as anything in fact one of the most simplest launchers that i've used and it was just introduced in this 2019 so if you swipe over here you're going to have access to all your apps and then you can't go over the fact that this comes with simple very beautiful icon packs customized one it has customized all your apps for you most especially the ones that come with the phone for instance youtube and then zenda telegram and all the other stuff it customizes it's very beautiful and then you don't need to download any sort of icon packs at the home screen you can edit how your icons are placed you can place any of your icons so you can rearrange it anytime you feel like rearranging it it is as simple as anything that i've ever used and then it's so simple with just one hand and swiping it up so if you want something that you can be doing different things together and then using your phone at the same time using one hand and going up and down like this i recommend this launcher 2019 for you now let's talk about productivity smarter time is my next app and this app helps you track your movements around the areas that you're living in so if you can see from the analytics here it checks the number of time and the number of hours that you spend on your phone and it gives you the basic statistics and analytics for the previous seven days 30 days and the previous day so the number of hours you've been resting the number of ads you are on social media and the number of ads you've been doing at an entertainment the movement map over here indicates your current location and for the past few hours your movements around your circle when you go to the timeline here it basically traces every single app that you use on your phone so this traces also helps your phone to calculate the number of time that is spent on your phone and the number of time that is spent outside of your phone at the coach section here you can control your phone so if you click on it it basically gives you the number of time that is spent on your phone today so you can set a limit up to four hours of spending your time on the phone so you can set the limit up to four hours so if you spend your time more than four hours it will alert you that you're going over and then you can decide on what to do you can track yourself on that so if you want something that is going to help you control your activities and the number of time you spend on your phone you might consider trying this smarter app one thing that i love about this every day it gives you a quote of the day so today never waste any time you can spend sleeping so you take that and then you might want to download this smarter app to help you know your movement and your traction on your phone so last on the list is called iSteady Spoo iSteady Spro is basically a planner, a school planner system. So if you're a student at the beginning of a semester, you can set up your planner over here, just like I have over here. So these are all the courses that I'm taking for this particular semester. If you click on any of them, you can assign your lecture times and then the lecturers that are taking you through. At the assignment section here, you can put your all your assignments and set timers to it to remind you whenever the assignment is in due so basically you can use this to plan your whole semester you can take your time and these are the exam timetable that i've set for myself so my exam starts on may 7th so if you click on it you know the time to take the assignment and then the particular date and then if there are other things like the room that you want to add to this particular exam schedule you can add it and then you are good to go so this is basically to assist you in organizing yourself when you are in school and you are taking other projects also so basically that's it these are my top five apps that i tried and tested during the month of april i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you tried any new app that you might want to see in the next video and among these apps which one of them is your favorite let me know in the comment section and i'll be glad for your feedbacks thank you so much for sticking around and watching and then i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here bye